So before the video starts, I'm selling my some CC. If you want preview, what does it actually look like? You'll find the Google Drive link in the description. And if you like it, you can contact me on Instagram to buy it. So the last video of head tracking, I got some comments from you guys saying that it's not working properly. People were asking how to fix it. So hey guys, this is Xenox and in this today's video, I'm going to try out multiple apps and by the end, I'll tell you which one is the best for face tracking. So without further wasting any more of your time, let's get started. Okay, in this chapter, I'm going to teach you how to cut the clips without losing quality. And if don't wanna, you can skip this chapter. Now add your clip. and find the place where head tracking is to be done. Now simply cut the extra part and export it. Now I'm going to add second clip. And do same thing like the previous clips. Okay, so I'm going to do the first head tracking on node video. Simple add your clips and make sure the clips isn't overlay each others. Now add motion tiles. Now copy my settings. Now go to the tracker and then stabilizer. Now do the same thing as you did in previous. Now this is the final result. That second goal, your free kick, that's almost becoming your trademark, that style of free kick. Have you got a name for it? Rocket. <laughs> no. Uh. Now second app is Vita. Now open your app and add your clips. Now go to the effect section and then face effect and add face tracking effect. Now your face tracking is ready. This is the result. Very 
That second goal, your free kick, that's almost becoming your trademark, that style of free kick. Have you got a name for it? Rocket. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so I'm using latest version of CapCut Pro and you can download from my Telegram channel. Back to the topic, get ready your clips and go to the camera tracking. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to tell you sometimes this effect panel doesn't work. I don't know why, but sometimes the panel do work. And I don't think so. iOS user can use CapCut Pro. Anyway, this is the time of results. That second goal, your free kick, that's almost becoming your trademark, that style of free kick. Have you got a name for it? Rocket. <laughs> no. Uh. Okay, now open your Play Store and search Tracked Motion Stabilization and iOS user. You can skip this part. Now open your software and add your clip. And this is the final result of Tracked Software. That second goal, your free kick, that's almost becoming your trademark, that style of free kick. Have you got a name for it? Rocket. <laughs> no. Uh. Now comparison of all the softwares, which one is good in head tracking? That second goal, your free kick, that's almost becoming your trademark, that style of free kick. Have you got a name for it? Rocket. <laughs> no. Uh. That second goal, your free kick, that's almost becoming your trademark, that style of free kick. Have you got a name for it? Rocket. <laughs> no. Uh. Okay, so in my opinion, Vita is best and this software available in app stores. So yeah, iOS user can use this software. By the way, Node video isn't good in head tracking, sad to know, but it is what it is. Okay, so today you've learned how to do head tracking on foam. But if you want to make Twitch shake, check out the video on the left side where I show you how to make Twitch shake on after motion. And in the video on the right side, I explained how to make deep glow on after motion. That's it for today's video. So this was Xenox signing off. See you guys in the next one till end. Peace.